Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jerry Views back with another video and we're talking about the iPhone's battery life. Of course, a really, really important thing when it comes to iPhones and daily usage of your devices. So we all want to have better battery life on our iPhones. Now, of course, this will depend on a number of factors, which device you have, what battery capacity it has, and whether the battery health is in good condition or not but also it depends on how you use your device and how you have your settings configured on your device. So in this video, I will show you guys some really important settings when it comes to battery life that will most likely almost double the battery life on your iPhone. Now we're starting with the refresh rate of your iPhone. Now if you have an iPhone 13 Pro or newer, the Pro series, you will have the iPhone which is capable of 120 megahertz of refresh rate. That is of course cool and your iPhone will work better, maybe look smoother, but of course it consumes way more battery. So the way to disable that is by going to your settings, head on to accessibility and then you will have motion right here and then you will have a setting which Apple has added here to allow us to limit that fresh rate to only 60 hertz, which basically is 60 frames per second, which is normal on other iPhones. And probably you will notice this the few first minutes you use your device, but after that probably you won't even notice that you have switched from 120 to 60 but of course it has a great impact on the battery life of your device here we have another really important setting here under accessibility so head on to your settings go under accessibility and then go to display and text size scroll all the way down here and find reduce white point now here's the description for this setting it says that it reduces the intensity of bright colors now, of course you know colors bright colors will consume a lot of energy through your, the pixels on your screen whereas if you have like a device where you have a display you have something on the screen that is black like this on devices with the OLED displays these are all pixels that are turned off that way you're just saving a ton of battery but if if you have really bright colors with a really high intensity that of course consumes a ton of battery so what you want to do here is enable reduce white point and then you will have this slider that will basically let you set how much you want to reduce it so of course from 25 up to 100 percent can be done from here but maybe around 50 would be enough Next up, we're moving under the seller settings. So head on to your seller settings and then go to seller data options. Now, when you go to voice and data right here, you will find a few different options. So you will have, of course, the LTE or 4G, and then you will have 5G on and 5G auto, which means that this right here, this will switch between 5G and 4G, whether the basically the area your ad has a good coverage of 5G, then it will use 5G. But when the coverage is not that good, it will automatically switch to 4G or LTE, that way saving you a ton of battery. You know that 5G will just drain the battery of your iPhone. So what I suggest you do here is don't use 5G on all the time because this way your iPhone is always trying to use 5G even though the coverage might be really bad and you know for 5G most areas won't have like really good coverage with 5G so that will just drain the battery out of your iPhone and if you do that you will notice a huge drain on the battery. What I suggest you do of course if you just need 5G then go with 5G Auto or if you don't really need it that much then go to LTE right here and you can switch only when you're on areas that you know that have a really good 5G coverage. Now one setting that is actually quite underrated on iOS devices is low power mode. Now low power mode will just strict a lot of things on your iPhone that way will save a ton of battery. Most likely we'll get like double the battery life while using the low power mode option. But of course using low power mode all on all the time, having it on all the time, it means that your iPhone phone won't perform as good as it can but of course meanwhile you're saving a ton of battery so what i suggest you do especially if you have an older iphone and you need more battery use low power mode not when it's at 20 percent when the battery drops at 20 percent that might be a bit late but use it maybe a bit earlier like 40 or 50 percent you can even set this up to be done automatically now the way to do that is simply by going to a shortcuts app and then go to automations right here tap on new automation and then right here choose for battery percentage so 
here we have battery level choose here 50 percent or 40 whichever one you want tap on the next button okay make sure here you have run immediately tap next here and then search here for low power mode so that you have set low power mode you tap on it it's on right here tap on the dumb button and you're good to go once your device's battery will drop to 50 percent it will automatically enable the low power mode now as i said at the beginning of the video dark mode is also another really underrated setting when it comes to battery life of course if you have a device with an oled display you can see right here i'm on the settings everything that is black here totally black or pixels of the screen parts basically of the screen that are turned off completely which means that they're using zero battery that way just saving a ton of battery on the iphone what i suggest you do head on to display and brightness right here make sure you use dark mode as much as possible you will have here the options you will have sunset to sunrise or you can even set a custom schedule right here that will allow you to choose when you want to use dark mode when you want to use light mode so just use dark mode for as long as possible as you probably know by now with ios 17 we have the new motion wallpapers they are kind of like the live wallpapers but they actually do move all the time every time you wake up the screen of your iphone not like the live wallpapers where you had to tap and hold to actually move the wallpaper these of course will consume battery having that motion on the screen every time you lock and unlock your device or even just wake up the screen will of course cause the battery to drain a lot faster than it should so if you want to use any of those wallpapers just make sure that you don't use it all the time because of course it has a bad impact on the battery life of your iphone moving on to system services now on location services we have all the apps that are using our location but then we have the system services which actually use the location and there are quite a lot of them right here that will actually do that and they are all enabled here by default so we'll have things like compass calibration which you don't actually need or other things like setting a time zone or maybe even suggestions and search right here but of course you will have things that you actually need to have enabled here like calls and sos right there emergency calls and sos and of course some other things you will also have here significant locations which i suggest you turn off and then you will have other things like right here product improvement just let apple improve their products by themselves just make sure you have all these turned off right here so they are not using your location in the background to try improve their products and of course consume a ton of battery on your iphone the same thing here goes for analytics and improvements which again can be found under privacy and security it's right here analytics and improvement and it's basically using apple is using analytics from your iphone to just improve their products like you can see right here icloud we have apps right there enhanced beta feedback and you will have the watch as well and all these different analytics that can be used from your device now of course i'm not saying this is a bad thing if you do that if you have this enabled but just notice that they of course consume a ton of battery now one thing i suggest you do especially on older devices if you're having really bad battery life is to reduce the motion on your device which means that all the like fancy animations can be reduced that of course saving a ton of battery now you can do that by going to settings accessibility and you will have here motion so if you go here you will have a button right at the top which will reduce the motion and will basically just give you like these simple animations basically no animation at all or you can even enable this like crossfade transition which is a bit better but still reduce all the like fancy animation that way saving a ton of battery next up are widgets now with ios 17 we have interactive widgets for the home screen but the lock screen as well now widgets of course need to be updated all the time with different informations like this one from stocks right here or of course the other ones for batteries all of them are being updated all the time which means that everything that is actually active all the time is at the same time just consuming a ton of battery so make sure you only use your necessary widgets on the home screen and of course the lock screen as well don't just place like widgets there to look cool make sure that they're actually useful and you're using them before adding them to your lock screen or home screen probably one of the worst battery drainers on ios 
are email push notifications. So right here, go to email under settings, you will have your accounts and then you will have fetch new data right here. If you use push, then of course this will consume a ton of battery. What I would suggest you do for email is turn this off right here. Then you can use right here the fetch options for manually or hourly, maybe even 30 minutes. So you can do that manually or on the schedule that you choose and not have it active all the time. And last but not least is background app refresh. I know you've probably seen this on every iPhone battery saving tips video, but it's really important and it does have a big impact. So under general background app refresh right here, we'll have a list of apps. Now what you can do here is of course, just choose the simple way, choose Wi-Fi only, which will restrict the background app refresh only when your iPhone is connected to the Wi-Fi network. Or what you can do is just head on to this list right here, take a look at all the apps that you have on your device, find the apps you don't think you need to be refreshing in the background, and of course, turn them off directly from here. So that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead, leave a like if you did. Of course, don't forget to subscribe for more videos, and I will see you on the next one.